We know that tire size matters when you're not towing. Does it help your efficiency when you are towing? We're gonna find out today. Hi, I'm Steve from the All Electric family, and today I have two of our Rivian R1Ts, one with the 22 sport wheels and one with the 20 inch all-terrain tires, and we're gonna take them out and compare them towing this 30 foot Airstream and see if this is much more efficient than this one. We know that this vehicle with the 22 sport wheels is about seven and a half percent more efficient than this one. Just from our friends over at Add Spec Reviews, they did a comparison on the 20s, 21s, and 22s. And since we have this R1T that is a very similar spec to ours, it uh, is the quad motor, 125 kilowatt hour uh, usable battery pack. We're going to use that to our advantage today and compare them while we're towing this. We're going to take it and do a similar towing test and then calculate the numbers and see how it pans out. So let's get going. So we're in the Rivian R1T with the 22 inch sport wheels. Let's get everything set up and then we'll get going. Okay, so we're going to set both of them on standard ride height and I like the trailer brake gain in the Rivian at four. Uh, high regen, stiff suspension on. And then I'm going to get to a little bit of a better starting point, And then I'll reset the trip odometer and we'll get the test started. So we will be doing 60 miles an hour for about 20 miles out and 20 miles back, just depending upon where a good spot to turn around is. And that'll give us a great idea of what the efficiency would be long term, and then a great comparison. So I'm gonna kind of split the difference. I like to do, uh, you know, most people that tow uh, go drive anywhere from 55 to 65 miles an hour. That seems like a safe you know, driving speed for them. So that's why I'm gonna pick 60 today. And plus I think it will, you know, give a real world uh, aspect of how far these trucks can tow and then a great comparison in between both of them. So anyways, we're going already and we'll see where it lands. And then I'll also talk about some driving characteristics with towing. Does the 22 inch sport wheels, do they tow better than the 20 inch all terrain uh, on the Rivian R1T? We'll find out. A couple different things, since we're comparing stability of how they're towing as well, I want to kind of get all angles of the wind because the wind is at 10 miles per hour coming out of the south. So currently we're going directly into it before it was kind of broadside. And before, when it was broadside, I didn't really feel too much there. 10 miles an hour, at least here in the Midwest, isn't a whole lot. So uh, it feels very similar to how the 20-inch uh, all-terrains on our R1T feels. But I'll compare that today. It'll be a better comparison. Uh, same day, same wind, um, all that sort of stuff. And so... I'm getting kind of all angles of it. Currently going into it, I'll get broadside going the other way, and then also get a tailwind as well. And, you know, so far it feels very stable, just like it does in the other one. But, you know, only time will tell. And, you know, currently it appears like it's a little bit more efficient. Uh, we're currently in the 22s. I guess I didn't, don't even know if I said that, so. Anyways, let's, uh, let's continue on. So 
So far, so good. We are, I don't know, just a couple miles away from our finish point, and then we'll switch over to the 20 inch all terrains and get going back on the road. But I just wanted to say that the stability seems the same as far as side to side. There might be a tad bit more harshness in the ride, but you know, we're gonna go the same route in the 20s and then I'll compare that and see if that's actually accurate. We'll run the numbers and see if the 22s are more efficient than the 20s when towing. Okay, so we just finished up and 1.17 miles per kilowatt hour. We used 21.8 or 28.1 kilowatt hours and we went 32.8 miles. And we did have an average speed of uh, 51 miles an hour. So we'll compare all that stuff. It should be roughly the same. I did do a GPS uh, test to make sure that we will be doing the actual same speed. So um, yeah, let's go get into the other vehicle, get things switched around and uh, come back to it. All right, now we are in the Rivian R1T with the 20 inch all terrain. So let me get to the spot where I'm gonna set everything up, reset the triple odometer and get that going. Okay, so we like standard ride height on high, stiff ride and at four. So it's gonna be the same thing here. All right, so we will reset the trip odometer here and then get going with this test. There we go. So to get on here quick, now we are in the 20s and as far as stability goes, you can definitely tell a difference with the 22s. It, it's, it's not like dramatic or anything. It's still very stable side to side with this vehicle. Uh, in the 20s versus the 22s is pretty dang straight. And, but the ride, the ride with the 20s is definitely less harsh. Like you don't feel the, the harshness of the bumps and there's some of that on this highway too that I'm on. So I would, it's kind of a watch. I mean, it just kind of depends if you want a smoother ride or not. And you may be able to play with the settings on the 22s and put it more in that soft ride height and it may help with that, but you may lose some stability side to side. All of this seems to make sense in my head. I don't know if it's actually accurate or not, but you know, the 20s have a, lar a larger sidewall on the tire than the 22s. So all that stuff makes sense in my head. Um, but yeah, what do you think? I right, just pulled in and 1.09 miles per kilowatt hour. So it is definitely less efficient. I'm gonna run some numbers and then we will tell you exactly how much less efficient it is. Well, there you have it. This concludes our test for today. This is roughly about 7.5% less efficient than it is with the 22s. And that's really what Kyle got on Add a Spec Reviews when he did that side by side. Well, he did all three of them. So it'd be very interesting to test the 21 inch wheels, a towing comparison. I did not have that available today, but maybe that's something I'll do in the future. I'll get together with my friend Tim, who has a very similar uh, R1T spec as mine, and we could run that side by side. I think that'd be a great comparison. But yeah, very interesting that it was basically the same thing as uh, doing it without towing. And so, you know, if you want, you need more distance, definitely go with the 21s or 22s. Um, 
If you want kind of that stability side to side, at least in this comparison, I could tell that the 22s did better that side to side, but it did have some harshness to, the, uh, to some of the bumps. And then on the 20s, it kind of gave a little bit more with those bumps, but you could feel it a little bit more side to side. And I'm being very nitpicky when doing that, but I just want you guys to have all the information available. So please, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Come along for our family adventures that we take our electric vehicles and our camper out on. We also do some road tripping, things like that. And I hope you like this one, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.